Hi everyone in this lecture we will talk about gradient descent algorithm in general right so it's not specific to regression but it's a very popular technique very popular uh, method that is used in lot of algorithms including deep learning and neural networks as well so let's first learn what is gradient descent so it's a method that allows you to minimize a um find the minima in a function right so it helps you to find a local minima in any function in any given function this is a method to find a local minima right so for example let us talk about a function let's say there is a function y which is let's say uh x square plus 25 minus it's at 10x or this can be written as x minus 5 whole square okay so let's say we have this function and uh in this case you have a y which is a function of x so let me just plot this function also so you will see this function will look something like this okay and let's say this is zero let's say this is the value x equals to 5 and this is x so we want we are interested in finding out at what value of x this function acquires the minimum value so we want to find out the value of x where y which is equal to a function of x is minimum this is the what is the problem right this is what we are trying to solve now okay and now you know there are multiple ways to do this okay so one is the uh, direct differentiation you do the differentiation you say okay i will do 2x minus uh, 2 into x minus 5 and put it equal to 0 and i will get x equals to 5 which means this is a local minima or a maxima right so this is what you have been uh, practicing in calculus as well but when we uh, use machine learning we generally don't deal with direct differentiation the reasons will be clear when we uh, do some more lectures okay so you can do this but this is not a recommended method in machine learning right because uh, when you have large data sets then this uh, direct differentiation becomes very difficult that is why we will learn about the iterative method which is gradient descent okay so we have a iterative method and this iterative method is nothing but it's called gradient descent okay so first method is direct differentiation second is iterative method that is gradient descent so let's not talk about this let's talk about this so in gradient descent what you you are go uh, going to do is you are going to say okay start with any random value of x okay you start with any value of x maybe you say okay x is zero maybe you you are saying okay i am standing at this particular point on this hill right and you are going to update your x in a direction that is going to minimize the value of the function okay so what you can do is you can say okay i will take small steps towards the minima i will take a one step here another step here another step here another step here and so on until i reach the minima so how do you take the small step so that thing is defined by two things one is the step size how big your step size will be and the direction in which direction you are going to move right so clearly at this point you have two directions one is uphill and one is downhill right so you can go here or you can go here right so this is the uphill direction and this is the downhill direction so we will take the downhill direction and that direction is defined by the negative of the gradient okay so if i do uh, say uh, here i have y which is a function of x and i want to find out the value of x that minimizes uh, fx so i will say 
I will update x like this x equals to x minus a step size denoted by uh, eta and the direction so that direction is given by the derivative of f of x with respect to x so this term is called the gradient so direction is given by the negative of the gradient okay so this is the gradient now let us see what this equation is going to do so we are going to repeatedly apply this equation unless we reach the minima let us understand how this equation works so let me say okay i am standing at this point now and i want to reach this minima so what i will do this is my current value of x i will say okay what is the gradient okay so gradient also means the slope at this particular point so clearly this slope is negative so if you apply this equation x minus learning rate so this learning rate is a constant okay and it defines how big your step will be so what you will do this learning rate is negative so effectively if this term is negative and you have a minus sign here this is ultimately going to increase the value of x maybe your x increase little bit and you reach this particular point and then you repeat this equation again okay at at this point again you try to do the same thing your slope is still negative let's see this is your slope it is still negative and it has a reduced magnitude so you will again take one step and maybe this time you reach this point so you are standing at this point okay and you again repeat this thing now you again uh, find out the slope and this time this slope is still negative and it has a reduced magnitude so you maybe move little bit in this direction and you come to this point you again find out the slope the gradient and you can see the slope is close to zero so you take a very small step and you end up at a local minima so in this case at the local minima you find out the slope and this slope you can see is zero so this gradient becomes zero so your x does not change okay and once your x stops changing or the change is very less okay so if the change in x is very small you can say you are close to you are close to the minima okay and this is what gradient descent is right and it does not matter initially at what point you are standing right so let's see another case let's say initially you are standing at this particular point and you want to uh, move downhill towards minima so what you will do you will just apply this equation okay you will update your x in this direction so you will say x equals to x minus learning rate into the gradient so this will say okay let us move this way and now this at this particular point your slope is positive right slope is positive so applying this equation x equal to x minus learning rate into the gradient will take you in the downhill direction again so you move one step in this direction again you will see the slope is reducing and it is still positive so you move this way you move this way and eventually you will end up at local minima again right so the initial condition uh, initial value does not matter whatever is the case you will end up at a local minima so this is the case when you have a convex function okay so in a convex function you will have a local minima which is same as the global minima okay in some problems you may have non convex functions in this case we cannot find out the global minima always but we can reach a local minima for example you have a curve like this okay and in this case your initialization will also matter for example if you start from this point it is possible you get stuck in this local minima okay wherever this point is the um okay this this is the point which is the global minima okay so in this case 
you may have to try something different or we will learn uh, this thing in later videos right so gradient descent is an optimization technique that helps you to reach a local minima or a maxima in a given function right so if you want to find out the maxima in that case you will uh, make some change to the update equation for example now if you have a curve like this and you want to reach this particular maxima right okay so in this case you will use gradient descent instead of doing descent you will do gradient descent so you will be doing something like this x equals to x plus learning rate which is the step size into del of fx upon del x okay this is the exactly the reverse of gradient descent and it's called gradient ascent right and one thing that we will see in code is the effect of step size right so this constant defines how big leap you will take okay how big will be your jump while going from one step to next step and your effective jump will be product of these two and as you go downhill this effective jump will reduce as because gradient is decreasing okay as you go downhill gradient is also decreasing so we will implement gradient descent in the next video